Many laptops do not include a cellular connection, so I'm gonna show you right now how you can tether from your iPhone or iPad to your MacBook or any PC and get on the internet quickly and easily. There are three main ways to tether from your iPhone or iPad to your computer. The first is using your lightning or dock connector over USB. This is a hardwire connection, so it is the fastest and most reliable way of tethering, but you have to have a cable with you and it's not as pretty. Just to show the quality of the connection, I'm gonna do the speed test. I am on LTE and I'm getting roughly you know, 35 down and around eight up. And again, because it's over USB, you don't have to worry about any interference, any drop signals. Once it starts working, it tends to just work. The next thing you can use is Bluetooth, preferably Bluetooth 4.0 if your computer is equipped with it. Bluetooth is a radio technology, so you don't need a wire. However, it's not as fast as Wi-Fi, but it is power efficient. So as you can see, it's significantly slower Significantly slower. Significantly slower. But you don't need a cable for it. <laughs> the third way is with personal hotspot. That uses Wi-Fi. It basically turns your iPhone or iPad into a Wi-Fi hotspot, like your home uh, modem and router. It is fast, but it is a battery drain. So you have to measure which one of these is best for you. So that's how to tether from your iPhone or iPad to your MacBook or any computer. If you want the fastest, most reliable connection, use USB. If you want to connect multiple devices, use Wi-Fi. Uh, don't ever use Bluetooth. For more great videos, go to youtube.com slash imorevideo or follow me on Twitter at Rene Ritchie.